Hello everyone and welcome back to Decoders. I am Type Prishi and in this video I will show you how to make a basic calculator using Cordula. In my last to last video which was on the last week's Friday, I showed you the basics of Cordula where I explained all the components. So if you have not watched that video then you can watch it using the i button or the link given in the description below. One more thing, we have made a Discord server, so make sure to join it using dsc.gg slash decoders. And one more thing about the app the hub bot. I told you about this bot on my Codular video. I told you about this bot in my last video too. It's made in India and it's a really really fun and great feature. You can see that I was doing some bet flip commands which is coin flip. Let me show you again. I will do add 10 bet flip means bf 10 the value and I will keep it head so h. And you can see that it's a clip from an Indian movie. So let's see if I win or lose. Yes, I won. So make sure to invite Aptherbot using the link given in the description below and join the support server using the link given too. So now let's see how to make the basic calculator. First, create a project and name it as basic underscore calculator. Keep the theme as per your choice. I will keep it dark and click on finish. The project is created. So first, let me clear out what is the difference between a conventional calculator and a basic calculator. A conventional calculator means the calculator which is on our PCs and phones. Say this. This is the conventional calculator which has different buttons for different numbers. And what we are going to make today? We are going to make a basic calculator which will have a label which will show the answer to text box to enter the numbers and four buttons for the four main addition for the four main operations that is addition subtraction multiplication and division so let's start first we have to take out a label from the user interface section keep it font bold and keep the size 40 because it should be neat and clean as this is the main answer Keep the font as per your choice. I will keep it mono space. Keep the height 10%. Width fill parent and remove. Sorry, and remove the text. Note that you can keep the text alignment left or center. I will keep it center. You can also rename the label. So for ease of programming, I will keep it answer underscore. Okay, now we have to add two text box. Why two text box? Because we need two numbers for a calculation. So go to the user interface section, scroll down, and you will see a component named as text box. You have to drag two of them. You can rename it to I will keep it number one sorry it didn't get time number one and number two okay now we'll set the properties of the text boxes first keep the error text add set we don't need it keep the font size 15 you can change the font of the text which we see on the text box but I will keep it as it is. Keep the height automatic, keep the width with parent and keep the hint enter number 1. So what is a hint? It is shown in a light color and light font which is basically used to tell the user what we have to write in the text box. For example, if you go into an, any login or sign up window, it has hints which tells us that enter your email address, enter your password, enter your username, etc, etc. So that is called as a hint. Keep the hint color as it is and in the input type, keep it number as we are making a calculator. 
for the text alignment you can keep it center but for the text box i will keep it left and keep the text removed and keep the text clear repeat this for the second text box okay so now we have to take a horizontal arrangement and four buttons so why a horizontal arrangement the horizontal arrangement the horizontal arrangement will help us align it neatly which will make our app neat and clean so go to layouts general and take out a horizontal arrangement okay in all uh, align vertical keep it center keep the height 10 person not 10 pixels 10 person sorry okay then keep the width fill parent keep image and keep visible car then keep the width fill parent okay so now our setup for the original arrangement is complete don't need to rename it because we are not going to use it in any of the programming so keep it as it is but if you want to rename then you can do it now you have to take out four buttons just drag and drop it note that you have to drop it in the horizontal arrangement and not outside the arrangement you have to take out four buttons okay so now i have taken out four buttons and i will rename it as addition subtraction multiplication and double note that this is not shown as the button text this is just for ease of programming now we have to set up the properties of the buttons so keep the background color as it is keep it font bold and keep the font 40 so why to keep such a large 40 size we are using it because i'm gonna add the signs and not add subtract multiply or divide like that if you are gonna add like this then keep it then keep the font size 20 but i'm gonna add the sign so i will keep it 40 keep the font type face default but if you want to change you can do it i will keep it default keep the height fill parent and will and the width 20 percent we'll keep it 20 percent for all the buttons so it will look neat and clean then keep the shape as per your choice i will keep it rounded and for the text add the plus sign keep the text alignment at center now repeat this for the rest of the buttons Now for the text for the multiplication and division button, you don't have that signs on your keyboard so you have to get it from the web. So just open up a tab and search for multiplication sign. Then go to its Wikipedia and just copy it from here. Control C and Control V. Okay, so now we have the multiplication sign. We have to do the same for the division sign as we do not have the division sign on our keyboard. to wikipedia again and copy it control c and control v
Oh, so now we can see that buttons look neat and clean. You can see that it was not looking great before, but uh, I just drag it from here because it was not loaded. So if it happens with you like this, then just drag it from here to here. So it will get aligned neatly. So if you think that there is a space between here, then you can just add a space with here. So just go here and add it here. Keep the width 5%. Now you can see that it's aligned very very neatly now we have to get into the coding part the coding part was the coding part for this app is really really easy we just because we just have two text box and a single label so let me first explain the algorithm let me go to designer so that i can explain it more clearly so first we enter the numbers in the first and second text box and when we click on any of the sign the operation is done by the app and the answer is shown on this label it is not visible now because we don't have any text here so when we click on any button we have to do the operation for the button using the text using the text in text box 1 and in the text in text box 2 and show the output in the answer label so this is the simple algorithm for all the four operations. So first you have to go to the block section and take out addition when addition click. After that you have to go to answer label get any of this block. Uh, now you can see that it shows clickable but when you click this you can select any of this. So I will keep it text when addition button click set the text to we have to get a math plus block from here it's available in the math section and we have to add the text from text box 1 and the text from text box 2 so for that go to number 1 and here just take out this it's showing error test but you can change it from here i will duplicate it keep it number 2 text see the see the code for the addition button is completed it was that easy now we have to do it for the rest of buttons too go to subscribe subtraction button get it out we'll keep some space here and then you can just duplicate this so you don't have to go to this section again and you're just trying to remove this okay then go to math and take out the minus block number one text minus number two text the subtraction code is done too now we have to do the multiplication and the division code take out when multiplication click set answer label to set answer label text to number one text box number one text multiplied by text box number two text Ooh. now we have to do it for division as well when division button click set answer label to text box number one text divided by text box number two text it's that easy so the coding and designing both for the basic calculator so the coding and the designing both for the calculator app is done it was that easy now we have to use it on your phone to do that you can use the test option correct a companion and you can use the export option so let me just clear why there are two options so for the test when you are developing when you are developing an app and want to test how it works then you can use this and if you want it as a permanent app then you can use the android app.apk export option but 
even if you have completed the app then i always recommend to use the connector companion option that you just have to download one app from the play store and use it so let me bring the phone and test this okay so now i am on the codular companion app to download the app you have to search codular companion on play store and the link for it will be given in the description below too so when you go on this app click on scan qr code and when you do this you have to click on this test option and click on connect to companion and scan this qr code okay done now you can see that the app is loaded on the phone sorry i guess i kept uh, the num enter number two text box font bold let me just remove it okay so i am on the pc uh, let me just bring this code down uh, i love cricket so <laughs> i pin the score every time now let's test the app uh, let me write 10 and 10 sorry 10 and 10 and let me add you can see that the result is shown as 20 let me multiply let me minus it it is shown as 0 multiply 100 and divide 1 so it works for minus numbers too so if i do minus 10 divided by minus 20 then uh, minus 10 divided minus 10 added by minus 20 then you can see that it shows minus 30 it will work for point integers too for if i do 1.5 multiplied by 4 and you can see it shows 6 and if i do it for 3 the point integer the decimal integer is shown too let me show you divide 2 so i will do 100 divided by 5 and the answer is 20. So that's it for today's video guys. Stay tuned to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the notification bell. Also, don't forget to like this video and comment down your thoughts. Goodbye.